We've all, at some point, watched with sadness as our loved ones gradually lose their former vitality with age. Their health declines, memory weakens, and energy levels drop. And perhaps you've noticed that, day by day, even simple daily tasks start to feel more challenging. But here's the surprising part. Some people age much more slowly. They maintain a sharp mind, strong health, and rarely suffer from cardiovascular diseases or diabetes. They sleep well, wake up feeling refreshed, and truly enjoy their days. It almost seems like they've unlocked a secret that others don't know. Scientists have long tried to understand what sets these people apart from those whose health declines rapidly with age. To find the answer, they conducted a massive 22-year study involving 3,200 participants. All of them were completely healthy at the beginning of the experiment. Researchers closely monitored their condition, took regular blood samples, tracked changes in their health, and even recorded the causes of their passing. Over the years, scientists analyzed 112 different substances circulating in the bloodstream and discovered an interesting pattern. Only five of them were strongly linked to longevity and overall well-being. But among these five, one stood out above the rest. It turned out to be the key to extending life. Scientists called it the vitamin of youth and longevity. The higher the levels of this substance in the blood, the stronger the heart, the lower the risk of cancer, um, and the longer mental clarity was preserved. And on the other hand, those who lacked it experienced rapid health deterioration. The most fascinating part, this vitamin can be obtained from ordinary foods. While it has already been synthesized into supplements, natural sources remain the most reliable way to maintain its levels. They don't just provide the vitamin of youth, but also a wealth of other essential nutrients that contribute to longevity. So what is this incredible element called? Scientists named it ergotheque. It turns out that it not only extends life, but also protects against diabetes, shields the body from the harmful effects of ultraviolet radiation, helps resist radiation exposure, and even preserves vision. It is also known as egutinin, and studies have shown that it slows down brain aging reduces the risk of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and age-related dementia. People with higher levels of igutinin remain more energetic, active, and full of life for much longer. But here's the most astonishing fact. A proper diet doesn't just help maintain this substance in the body. It can, in some cases, even reverse age-related changes. Now, let's take a closer look at which foods are rich in this unique vitamin and how to incorporate them into your diet. This video is going to be incredibly informative and helpful. If you want to take control of your health like a pro, give it a like, and let's get started. Our body is like a complex machine where every part plays a crucial role. One of the most remarkable components in this system is ergothionine, a substance directly linked to our health, longevity, and even mental clarity in old age. Scientists have discovered that the level of ergothionine in the blood can predict the risk of age-related macular degeneration, a condition that leads to vision loss. Moreover, this compound is closely connected to Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and age-related dementia. The higher its concentration in the body, the lower the likelihood of developing these disorders, and, and the longer a person remains active, energetic, and in good health. But here's what's truly fascinating. The amount of ergothionine in the body depends on what we eat. Eating habits vary significantly across different countries, and this directly affects how much of this compound people get from their diet. For example, in Italy, people consume an average of five milligrams of ergothionine per day, while in the United States, the average intake is just one milligram, five times less. And these are not just numbers. Statistics show that Italians live on average five years longer than Americans. Ergothionine is not just an antioxidant, it literally extends life, helping the body fight age-related changes. And it's not only about lifespan, but also quality of life. People with higher levels of ergothionine remain active, healthy, and full of energy, able to enjoy life to the fullest. But there's a catch. It must be consumed regularly and in sufficient amounts. As we age, our body absorbs ergothionine less efficiently, while at the same time, its demand for it increases. This is because the body actively uses this compound to protect and repair damaged tissues and organs. Over time, its levels gradually decrease, weakening the body's ability to resist aging and disease. But the good news is that if you increase your dietary intake of ergothionine, 
the body begins storing it in tissues, helping to slow down inflammation, which is one of the leading causes of age-related diseases. However, ergothionine has a unique property that sets it apart from other antioxidants. It doesn't just circulate in the blood, it is specifically transported to where it is needed most. The body has developed a specialized mechanism for this, a unique transport protein that captures ergothionine from food and delivers it directly to organs that need repair. This process is so precise that less than 4% of ergothionine is excreted through urine. The rest remains in the body, continuously working to protect and restore cells. Scientists call ergothionine the longevity molecule because, unlike vitamins, its deficiency doesn't cause immediate symptoms. Instead, a lack of it gradually weakens the body, making it more vulnerable to heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and neurodegenerative conditions. That is why the body carefully preserves and utilizes its ergothionine reserves. As soon as the importance of this compound became known, it quickly appeared on the market in the form of dietary supplements. However, the most natural and beneficial way to maintain ergothionine levels remains a well-balanced diet. This compound is found in almost all foods, but in varying amounts. The highest concentrations are found in leafy vegetables, aromatic greens, such as lettuce, dill, and parsley, whole grains, fruits, root vegetables, dairy products, fish, and meat. If we arrange foods by their ergothionine content, leafy greens and vegetables come first, followed by fish and seafood. Next in line are fruits and root vegetables, while whole grains have the lowest amounts. It's no surprise that these foods form the foundation of a healthy diet, but there is one product that stands out as the richest natural source of ergothionine, mushrooms. Research shows that regular mushroom consumption reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease, protects against cancer, strengthens the immune system, improves gut health, and even helps fight depression. But most importantly, mushrooms are the most effective at slowing age-related memory decline and cognitive deterioration. People who ate mushrooms more than three times a week were twice as likely to avoid memory problems as they aged. Those who consumed mushrooms two to four times per week had a 21% lower risk of premature death and on average lived five years longer than the average American. And there's no magic in this, it's simple science. The more ergothionine you include in your diet, the higher its levels in your body, and the longer your health, youth, and mental clarity are preserved. So, if you want to live longer, prevent age-related diseases, and maintain energy for years to come, make sure to include foods rich in ergothionine in your diet. And at the top of that list, mushrooms. To get enough ergothionine from mushrooms, two conditions must be met. First, you need to eat enough mushrooms. Second, you need to choose the right varieties, the ones that contain the highest levels of this compound. For example, to achieve the 21% reduction in mortality mentioned earlier, you would need to eat approximately 72 grams of average mushrooms per day. Of course, you could eat 150 grams one day and skip them the next, averaging around 75 grams daily. But it is far more beneficial to eat mushrooms regularly. A daily intake of 70 to 100 grams provides 5 milligrams of ergothionine, which according to scientists is enough to maintain optimal levels in the body. Naturally, ergothionine is gradually used up, so it takes time for it to accumulate. In one study, participants ate 100 grams of mushrooms daily for four months before their ergothionine levels doubled. And yes, these were regular farm-grown button mushrooms, the kind many people tend to underestimate. Although button mushrooms are the most affordable and widely available, they are not the richest source of ergothionine. Even the highest quality button mushrooms contain about half as much of this compound as farm-grown oyster mushrooms. The lower quality ones may contain four, six, or even 10 times less. Oyster mushrooms are considered one of the best readily available sources of ergothionine. However, they are surpassed by a group of mushrooms known as boletus mushrooms, including porcini, birch boletes, aspen boletes, Polish mushrooms, and their close relatives. These varieties contain 20 to 30% more ergothionine than oyster mushrooms, and in some cases, even 50% more. Right after porcini mushrooms come king oyster mushrooms, which have become increasingly popular in many countries. 
Next in line are regular oyster mushrooms, followed by shiitake with a noticeable gap. White and brown button mushrooms are far behind in terms of ergothionine content. What makes mushrooms particularly remarkable is that they contain hundreds, sometimes even thousands of times more ergothionine than any vegetables. Among vegetables, garlic has the highest concentration, but even it contains 10 times less ergothionine than shiitake mushrooms. In most other vegetables and fruits, the amounts are minuscule. However, even this tiny amount can be enough to help maintain health for many people. The amount of ergothionine in mushrooms varies significantly depending on growing conditions, sometimes by a factor of three to four. For example, some shiitake mushrooms contain two and a half times more ergothionine than porcini mushrooms. The same applies to button mushrooms. Ergothionine levels can range from 190 to 550 milligrams per kilogram of dry weight, and in some cases have been recorded as high as 7,000 milligrams. I was personally disappointed by chanterelle mushrooms. They contain virtually no ergothionine. Meanwhile, oyster mushrooms, which are called oyster mushrooms in English, were mistakenly translated by Google as oysters. But of course, we are talking about mushrooms, not seafood. Their composition depends significantly on their growing medium, whether it's straw, grape pomace, or olive pomace. This is why scientists recommend choosing mushrooms with the highest ergothionine content, which in most cases are oyster mushrooms, and consuming them regularly, preferably daily and in sufficient quantities. Recommendation two, eating 50 to 100 grams of fresh mushrooms daily in any form, whether dried, sauteed, or pickled, doubles ergothionine levels in the body within four months. This helps fight aging, heart disease, diabetes, cancer, memory decline, Parkinson's disease, and Alzheimer's disease. Recommendation three, the highest ergothionine content is found in porcini mushrooms, aspen belates, birch belates, and Polish mushrooms. Right behind them are oyster mushrooms, even farm-grown ones. Step or king oyster mushrooms contain nearly as much ergothionine as belatus mushrooms. Then come golden oyster mushrooms, followed by gray oyster mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms have about the same amount of ergothionine as regular oyster mushrooms. Button mushrooms contain two to 10 times less than oyster mushrooms, while chanterelle mushrooms have almost none at all. A critical concern, radioactive contamination. The Chernobyl disaster caused severe environmental damage, contaminating much of continental Europe with radioactive cesium. The most affected areas include Ukraine, Belarus, and Eastern Poland. Mushrooms are highly absorbent, drawing cesium from the soil and accumulating it in their fruiting bodies. Recommendation four, since the Chernobyl disaster, wild mushrooms in Europe may contain dangerous levels of radionuclides. To avoid this risk, farm-grown mushrooms are a much safer source of ergothionine. However, most people do not forage for wild mushrooms. They are too rare and expensive. Farm-grown mushrooms have become the primary source of ergothionine. After gathering all this information for this video, I started eating oyster mushrooms daily. I buy them a couple of times a week, saute them, and add them to various dishes. They are both delicious and incredibly beneficial. Now there is, is another major source of ergothionine, spirulina. Studies show that dried spirulina contains as much ergothionine as oyster mushrooms, and some varieties even more. But there is a catch. Spirulina tart can also contain cyanides, pesticides, and heavy metals. Because of this, scientists consider three to five grams per day to be a safe amount. Uh, recommendation five, spirulina contains almost as much ergothionine as oyster mushrooms, but due to the risk of contamination, its safe daily intake is only three to five grams. If you're interested, I'd be happy to make a separate video about spirulina. Comment the word spirulina below and I'll know this topic is something you wanna learn more about. Um, next, I recommend checking out these videos and don't forget to, to leave your likes and comments. I'm looking forward to them.